Hey yo everyone, JW here and welcome to Red Barn River Zoo. Best times 1 hour 8, 59. Time limits 1 hour 15. We're on easy. We are unlocking the gold uh, King Penguin Penguin, sorry, uh, statue, I believe it is. Just loading into the zoo now. It's a fairly straightforward one, this one, and I appreciate that. I've probably said that a few times, but this one is fairly straightforward. The problem is there's a lot of waiting around particularly towards the end but other than that yeah it's fairly straightforward <laughs> hope you're all well while it's loading in. Don't know why this one takes so long to load in, but it does. Here we go. So this is of course the time scenario that came with the aquatic pack. So you need to have the aquatic pack to have access to this time scenario. So, first of all, pause the game. <laughs> 12 different habitat species in the zoo with welfare of 85%, 2,200 guests in the zoo, one animal to a five star rating, yearly profit of 65,000, and then something else at the bottom that I completely missed. So first of all, go over to your otters and get rid of all the plants that they don't like. And they need some more enrichment. So just place some of that down. Just until it reaches the uh, desired number. There you go. They've got everything they need. Just check in to see if they add underwater feeders because I couldn't see anything on land and I just decided to put a, a tray in there which the keepers can access. There we go. So as usual <laughs> education and donation although donation bins are already pretty much there in this one it's just for the new habitats over here Adjust the terrain for the giraffe. Just making sure that they've got enough temperature. Uh, copy the education boards and just place an additional one for the species that we're going to be adding to this habitat, which is the sable antelope. Side a male and a female. Let's pop them in. Now, at this point, I should have put a feeding cage in for the giraffes, which would have probably helped them get to five stars a little bit quicker. But I don't realise that they don't have one until the end. Right. Here, you need to hire six cleaners, six keepers, four mechanics, two security, two vets, and eight vendors. Just making sure that the penguins have everything. So there'll be a water treatment somewhere around here when I can locate it. There it is. You're going to want to move that so that it covers all of the water. So I just pop it there. Just move the trees cover it, reduce that negative area as much as possible. I do have to put loads more plants in. Uh, keep a hut, staff room, 
put those in as well. And then here you are wanna you are wanna <laughs> you're going to want to put in your guest facilities. So toilet, uh, food, drink, and merchandise, and then of course your your bins. Recycling bins are important. Education for the penguins. Education for the flamingos. Donation as well is important, as always. Galapagos tortoise. Uh, having trouble selecting the water here, but you'll see its cleanliness is abysmal. Just fence it off, they don't need it. Donation for the Galapagos tortoise. ATM's important. Don't know why it stopped. <laughs> uh, run out of money here, but I do need to put in that take out a 10,000 loan and put in a generator at the other side of the river. Put a water temperature regulator at the other side of the river. It's just outside of the power ring, so I move it. Connect it with a staff path. Staff room and keep a hut over here. Overall zoo rating was the other thing from earlier on. Then I changed this path into just a guest path rather than it being a staff path. Add some education for the uh, tapir. So next, create a long, very long habitat, <laughs> all the way up to the wooden bridge. Both sides of the river. Just move the bin and the speaker. Get rid of the trees and the bushes and so on. Split it in half. Add your staff access. Change the viewing walls to something transparent. And then you're going to want to buy saltwater crocodiles. and Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman. I buy one of each just for now. And of course you're going to want to outfit the habitats to be suitable for the uh, croc and the cayman. Yep, still need to reduce that negative area. So, <laughs> and just fill in the area with plants as much as possible, just so it doesn't touch that path anymore. Just anything and everything I can. Well, it's 
still touching the path. <laughs> so I'm just trying to reduce it as much as possible. I think that's pretty much done it. Uh, dwarf came in, crocodile, make sure their terrain is suitable. Add your education, education boards, education speakers, and uh, donation bins as well. Same for the Cayman. You notice there's no power at this point in the uh, path. So all I do is just change the terrain for the, the Cayman, obviously. Try and find a mate for them both of them. And then at the end of the path here, add a transformer. Not a robot in disguise though. Just connect it up to the path. Can't get rid of that barn, so just gonna have to build around it. So, grizzly bears. Get a pair, same with the Himalayan brown bears, they're a bit rarer to come across. Build their habitat. You can either build it here, or over near where we put the... Um, the water temperature regulator. I prefer to build it here, just because this is the more popular area. Split that in half habitat one side for the grizzlies one side for the himalayan brown bears add your staff access of course can move your grizzlies in set the loan repayment to max add your donation and education just need to be a little bit careful with the speaker for the Himalayan brown bear. Just because it's going to overlap like so. Terrain for the grizzlies. Add some enrichment, food, water. Again, they don't need this, but I put it in anyway, just because. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> nice big shelter for them. Just need a little bit more enrichment. There they go. And I realise a little bit later on that I've forgotten to put food and water in for the grizzlies. <laughs> so... Your entrance here, um, marketing campaign 5,000. Terrain for the flamingos. I thought we did something near the entrance. It must be later on. Tickets are underpriced. We will go ahead and change that. Add food and enrichment for the flamingos. We'll need to do a bit of research. Change ticket price, there we go. Just adding a little bit of education on this walkway here. People don't really seem to be stopping on this walkway, so. Just 
just donation, education, and recycling bins. It's all we really need in life. <laughs> education at this side for the crocs and the caimans, as well as those all important speakers. Speakers is never something I use in my own zoos though. never been to a zoo where there's a speaker declaring information about an animal. Like ever. <laughs> False donation. Some additional education for the tapirs at this side. Still nothing on the Himalayan brown bear, brown bear front. Just moving some of these enrichment pieces about. Go ahead and set up the Himalayan brown bear habitat. There we go, this is where I remembered I haven't put anything in for the grizzlies. They get a slightly smaller shelter, no particular reason why. Just checking out that structure, seeing if it's something I could build myself. Probably not. <laughs> we need one animal to a five star rating and a profit. So, I'm still checking for those Himalayan brown bears. Do some research on the flamingos and the penguins apparently. Add some plants for the flamingos. They don't need it, but it's better to have it. Just makes the habitat look a bit nicer. So change the blank education board now that the sable antelope are in. Change the speaker to the sable antelope. Just make sure it's not overlapping. Still nothing on the Himalayan brown bear front. So here the guests are kind of looking into this African habitat. So I just raise the fence to avoid that as best as possible and then I put some uh, conservation boards in that's what we did near the entrance just to block their view a little bit really so we've got our zoo rating we just need to work on everything else so this side, put your ATMs in and you're going to want drinks, food, information, merchandise, toilets and of course it starts snowing which is something to be careful about. Add your heaters for your reptiles. Add the enrichment for the flamingos. I do put that pool there. The a keeper can't access that. I do get the warning about it momentarily. You can finally afford a Himalayan brown bear. 
move it into the habitat. There we go, we've ticked something else off. Bears in. Change its terrain. Let's get rid of anything it doesn't like. And then add stuff it does. It's always difficult recreating sort of Himalayan landscapes. So the bear's now happy. Change your ticket price. Just got the profit and the one animal to a five star. Yeah, I try to find somewhere else for this forage pool, but I just had to get rid of it. brown bearing and I was struggling to get the guest numbers so I do even though I just achieved the guest numbers um, I synchronize the toilet prices for a dollar I synchronize the ATM prices for a dollar and then over at this side I build what is quite a small habitat in hindsight <laughs> should have probably built it a little bit bigger um, but this habitat's going to to be for the bongo. So it was partly because I thought I hadn't achieved the guest uh, numbers, which of course turns out I had, but it was also because I need one animal in the zoo to get to a five star rating. Your best bet is the male giraffe. It is possible with other animals, but your best bet is the male giraffe. <laughs> um, and of course, as I said earlier on, I do forget or don't realize that um, there isn't a feeding cage in that habitat, and there should be. So that's what actually gets us the gold in the end. Adjust the terrain for the bongo. We're about to lose a springbok to old age. Just one animal to a five star rating. And Runica is our best option. Yeah, the otter got a little bit stuck here for some reason. So I'm just getting rid of all the flamingos and the sable antelope baby that matured. A little bit of an overlap with the speakers, even though there isn't an overlap with the speakers. Get rid of the tapir baby that matures. And it's really just a case of waiting for this giraffe to reach five stars. Of course, that feeding cage is what pushes us over the edge. So I got a little bit confused here because it didn't say sand was an issue before so I just go ahead and place lots of long grass and inadvertently ruin the entire habitat. <laughs> there we go.
So I'm just sat here waiting. And I noticed the nutrition was an issue. And eventually it's going to click. So I put it in uh, normal time in game, then speed it up slightly. <laughs> um, yeah, I just couldn't for the life of me fathom why the nutrition wasn't that great on the giraffe. And then it clicked. <laughs> why is the nutrition so low? the water's clean I don't get it and then eventually it will click <laughs> here we go any second now we're gonna get the gold And there we go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. This has been Red Barn River Zoo. I will see you all next month for two more timed scenarios. Stay safe. Bye bye for now.